we ordered every single thing on the menu. Did you really think, Gerard the Completionist, you're going to get a day off this week? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, no, this is the daily housekeeping notes, you prick. All right, $600,000 you have taken from all these people in the retro video game community just because you told them and lied and said it was going to a charity of your choice. We will find out later on that you friggin' held $600,000 of people's money in a fast food account offshore collecting hamburger interest. It's absolutely ridiculous. No wonder you're getting so fat by the winning. No wonder your neck beard is getting longer by the second. No wonder your friggin' haircut cut is ridiculous so pompous and stupid you got a half eaten chicken bone on one side of your neck beard on the other side of your neck beard 80 degrees you got a half eaten chicken there's still a team that's with me but it's much 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 smaller bone and 90 degrees right to the bottom of the bottom of your freaking neck beard dabbed in sweet and sour sauce because you need to keep a cachet of sauce in your neck beard if ever you think you're gonna run out of food you prick all you do all you do is think about food 24-7, 366. You're so stupid and fat that you're at garbage little indie land, aka shovelware land, where a bunch of indie developers get together to sell their pixelated platformer for 49 cents, which I don't care about. You're sitting there with your sequential XL friggin' purple gr gr grimace tea, all right, fat as hell. You got your purple, you got your sequential XL joggers on with a mustard stain on the back of them. I don't know how the hell that happened. You probably sat in sauce. And then then you have this stupid little wheel of fortune thing going on at Indie Land. Here's the boofy. Here you go. How you doing? You okay? Where you play these dumb little food games. Of course, Gerard the Completionist, anything he wants to incorporate food with, he will. One of the options on that wheel of fortune is cover yourself in hot sauce. Absolutely ridiculous. Hey, Gerard, stop being a fat neckbeard going to the friggin' dumpster at the back of Taco Bell at midnight, 12 a.m., and siphoning sauce out of the goddamn Taco Bell dumpster. I don't want you doing that anymore, okay? It's bad enough that your hot chef Rosanna, your fast food chef, tried to friggin' make you a sauce salad so you can lose some weight because all that 600k went to the open hand foundation no 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 open mouth foundation it went to your mouth open wide all that fat food fast food right down your goddamn gullet so you had this fast food chef named rosanna and all she wanted to do was make i, I don't want to get too far into the details uh but at this point um, make you lose weight. That's all she wanted to do. Okay, she makes you a goddamn salad. You're such a fat neck bird. You wring out the salad of all the goddamn Caesar sauce, and then you drink it by the gallon in a baby bottle. And that's because a baby bottle, because you can't even sit on a friggin' toilet anymore, because your fat lard will break the porcelain bowl and ruin the whole goddamn plumbing of the whole friggin' household. So you have to wear diapers for your friggin' diarrhea poo of all that fast food you eat. So then you friggin' dispose of it like the little cuck that you are. Hey, Gerard. Get your sorry fat carcass out of that goddamn friggin' basement couch that you are dwelling in right now as we speak, like the little cuck that you are. Your diarrhea colored couch, you're ruining the goddamn friggin' springs on the seat on the couch, ruin the whole damn couch is destroyed. Needs to have a write-off on your goddamn taxes. I'll wedge you out with a goddamn canoe paddle. Get we ordered every single thing on the menu get your sorry fat self up order a stupid or, uh, uber uh, uh, taxi right now get yourself to the goddamn bank okay then when you're there when you're there do not eat the free catering at the bank do not eat the free food that is offered there at the bank those are snacks those are snacks for hard earning citizens that had a long day of work not you you fat neck beard where you just sit at indie land like a fat piece of trash with your talking through your hot breath and your dumb little popcorn chicken mike telling people to donate money it's all for a good cause guys it's all for a good cause donate your twitch bits no i will not donate you more freaking bacon bits to shove down your gullet donate your sub guys no i will not let you order a mr sub foot long breaded chicken i'm no longer a part of super beer bros they made an announcement a couple days ago on the youtube channel and and then head out over to the other side of the plaza to order the same foot long breaded chicken at subway just because you feel like it just because you're a fat lard no you cannot do that do not eat the free catering and snacks at the goddamn freaking bank. Take out your stupid little checkbook, your fat little checkbook you got there with a cupcake 
on the front side of it and a freaking hamburger drawn on the back side of it. And when you flip through the goddamn checkbook, it's you at the open mouth foundation with your mouth wide open with a cupcake falling from the sky to right to your gut. Take that out. And in the two section, you put 660,000, not 600K, 660,000, because that 60,000 has been freaking increased by that hamburger and burrito interest you have been freaking gaining and freaking put that there and put it and donate to a charity of your choice you fat prick and remember this guy remember this guy pulling one yeah. thread about the charity thing is going to upheave my entire life in a way that scares the living crap out of me at the g4 thing with the frost some lip lip tard woke rant this piece of trash frost with his stupid edgy hair talking about this rant crap hey frost no one cares yet cock what i do care about is gerard sitting at the edge of his seat not even listening to you and all that's going on in his mind is the next double cheeseburger dressed like a mac that he's gonna order at mcdonald's because he always goes to mcdonald's he always orders the happy meals because he can't wait to get that grimace toy while poor little timmy is waiting back in line and can't even see the goddamn menu at the top of the ceiling because your fat gut and girth gerard is freaking blocking everyone's goddamn view and that same fat gut girth gerard goes to freaking uh your little dad's annual golf tournament and i'm not gonna be talking about this going his dad is still running still running the annual golf tournament just a freaking family for a family full of scumbags and crooks his dad's still running the annual golf tournament in 2024 may and when gerard enters there to the freaking golf course all the freaking freaking golf balls that get teed off into the sky start orbiting around gerard in a counterclockwise way because his fat gut has its own gravitational pull and he thinks it's a sugary covered timbit he tries to eat it realize he can't then he uses a freaking driver golf club to as a toothpick to get the goddamn remainder food out of his goddamn teeth it's ridiculous it's ridiculous to the point where these cucks on the reddit the completionist reddit they're banning people all people want to do is expose the fact that this guy's a fat lard that took 600k and then he used some of those expenses the last thing i want to do is ruin the legacy of my family of my mom and her memory some of those 600k expenses were used at indie land he took some of the open mouth foundation hamburger interest he had over a surplus of it right and then he took that and he used it at indie land for the shovel work convention hey gerard you're a fat idiot you're a piece of trash you're a lying scumbag that's always what you were stop freaking crushing your dog with your left forearm aka fat hellboy forearm and stop making your cat eat the lice out of your goddamn hair go stop freaking eating eating the dog food and cat food in the, in the basement that you the smelly basement that you freaking dwell in get yourself up and do some actual work for once instead of crying on youtube every week uploading a garbage upload with your thumbnails missing the goddamn greasy dirty disgusting neck beard and no you're not transparent you will never be transparent you're such a fat lard i will never be able to see you get yourself up and donate the goddamn money you stupid prick for charity we've raised over Almost almost a million dollars in the last uh, last seven years. We ordered every single thing on the menu.